Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Pigments. This is video 13, and today we're talking about the window, the cluster, and the shepherd, part of the partial modulation mode within pigments in the harmonic engine. So the first one that we're greeted with is going to be window. So let's turn this master volume down just a little bit, and let's kind of see what this is doing. So we play a note here, and we have our harmonic series. So this position is going to determine what kind of spot or where on this spectrum of our sine waves that we're going to be honing in on. And let's say let's pick a spot over here, for example, and let's increase the window size. So we're picking up a little bit more partials. We're zooming in on a, quite a few more. Now we can turn these up here. We can turn them down if we wanted to or completely remove them. And this is going to follow the key notes that we press. So it's basically key tracking on this on this feature here. But we also have the ability to modulate this window. So we put this gain back here and we have our FM modulation going. We can actually modulate or frequency modulate just the spots in that window, which is actually very cool. And all of these knobs are modulatable. So something very fast on that position would sound kind of cool. Maybe like a random kind of sound. Very sci-fi type of thing. Moving on from window, we have cluster. So this is interesting because it's basically choosing different clusters and moving them accordingly. So let's take a look and see what this is doing. So let's increase our partial amount to something maybe like 5.7. And we can change these clusters with these knobs here. Now we increase the partials here, and we can see them almost like sliding next to each other. Now we have a shape like this, we can add more clusters, move those as well, or the position of all of them. So within this harmonic engine, we can have a lot of interesting effects with the window or with the cluster. And then one of the very interesting ones too is this shepherd tone. So we have this here. We can choose this window size. We can choose the gain, position, kind of like what we had with window, but the real sauce here is this phi knob. So for example, if I have a function here, and we're gonna talk all about these later, if we drag this function all the way one to one and it's turn this phi down, so this function is just kind of looping right here. Now, if we hit a note, slow this down here a little bit to hertz and let's turn this up so we can hear what's going on. It's that effect where everything sounds like it's descending, but it never really feels like it gets anywhere. And we can actually see exactly what the partials are doing. They're fading out so smoothly that once the, the fundamental is gone, then the next one's already on the way to become the fundamental and so on and so forth. So right now, this one, let's pick this note here. This is the fundamental right here. And this is slowly fading out while these are moving and this one goes away and now this is gonna be the fundamental. So it's a constant type of droning sound that feels like it's descending in pitch and it's like it's going to go somewhere, but it really doesn't. And we can also increase the window size for makes it more sense if we have a complete window size. So all these partials are moving at the same rate. Let's speed this up a little bit. It's kind of taking forever there. A very cool effect here, so I highly recommend to play around with a lot of these different ones. Cluster and the Window are probably more so my favorite because you can get a lot of crazy sci-fi sounds out of it, mainly the cluster with moving these partials. Or some like atmospheric type of sounds but yeah that's the harmonic engine in a nutshell these these windows here window cluster and shepherd a very cool engine to play around with so thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching